Welcome. I'm the navigator. This is where you need to tell me who you are. Click on the red help button if you are not sure what to do. You can click on any of the text in the help section to hear it read aloud. Guest. 2 hours 4 minutes and 39 seconds p.m. Wednesday 1st July 2015. Happy birthday guest. Compass is at the ready. The following information applies to the whole of Canada. Most Canadians are descended from European settlers. More than half are descended from British or Irish settlers. The rest are descended from French people and other Europeans. There is also a large number of people from Asia. Most people of French origin live in the eastern province of Quebec where three quarters of the population are French Canadians. They disagree with the rest of Canada on many issues and want to keep their French culture and language. They would like to be recognized as a separate nation. Less than 2% of the population of Canada is Inuit or Native American. They are the poorest people in Canada. Many of them live in the north and still fish and hunt animals. Most Canadians live in the southern part of Canada near the border with the USA and most of them work in the service industries, such as finance, tourism, and education. There is a good state welfare system that provides help for the poor and unemployed. Most Canadians enjoy a high standard of living. Religion. Almost half of all Canadians are Roman Catholics. School. French is the main language in schools in Quebec. Most students in Canada go on to college or university. Visitors. Most visitors to Canada come from the USA. Most people come to see Canada's unspoiled and beautiful countryside and the famous Niagara Falls on the border between Canada and the USA. Let's take a look at our world.
Tornadoes begin when warm air rises violently to create big thunderclouds. In the giant clouds, rising updrafts are whipped into a spiral by high winds. As the spiral of air tightens, it speeds up like a spinning top. Soon a whirling white funnel of air hangs from the cloud. When the funnel hits the ground, there's an explosion of flying dirt. The spiral tightens, and winds roar around the spiral at incredibly high speeds. The tornado bounces across the land, sweeping anything in its path high into the air. Let's take a look at our world. Time for some science. When you hear a sound, a number of things happen. First, your ear flap collects sound waves and funnels them along a small tube called the ear canal. At the end, they hit a thin layer of skin, the eardrum. The sound waves cause the eardrum to vibrate, just like when you hit the skin of a drum. This makes the three tiny ossicle bones vibrate. The vibrations are then carried deeper into your ear, to the snail-shaped part of your ear, called the cochlea. Here, in the cochlea, the sound vibrations are turned into nerve messages. These messages then travel along the cochlear nerve to the brain. Once in the brain, they are interpreted and recognised as either sounds you know or as new sounds. Welcome to the natural world. As a bat flies through the air, it sends out short bursts of high-pitched clicks through its mouth and nose, which spread outwards from its head like ripples on a pond. When an insect flies in front of the bat, these ultrasound ripples bounce off it. The echoes are picked up by the bat's ears and are understood by its brain, telling it what the object is and where it is. As the bat chases its prey, these ultrasound waves are sent out more rapidly in order to give the bat a much more accurate picture of where the insect is. The bat strikes with pinpoint accuracy, seizing the moving target with its sharp teeth. Let's step back in time. There were huge celebrations in South Africa when Nelson Mandela, leader of the African National Congress Party, was released in 1990. He had been in prison for 27 years. His release gave people hope that equality for all races could be achieved. Let's step back in time. Welcome to the natural world. Hey there, culture vulture. World religions may differ widely in their ideologies and beliefs, but many share common elements. Our beliefs can dictate what we eat and drink. They can also influence the way we dress and how we wear our hair. 
Music and dance play an important part in the religious rituals and ceremonies of many cultures, as does prayer and meditation. Many religions have leaders who they follow and special places where they come together to worship. Through religion, people hope to find new meaning in their day-to-day -day lives, as well as finding answers to wider questions about the creation of the universe and what happens to us after death. Hey there, Culture Vulture. Many animated films today are created using computers. This way, far fewer illustrations have to be drawn by hand, compared with traditional cell animation. Computer-generated animation also makes films seem far more like real life than traditional animation ever could. What do nuclear scientists eat for dinner? Fish and chips. Bubble bubble. Why did the burglar rob the bakery? He was after the dough.
Cone, all cones have a circular base, and a point called the apex at the other end. Ice cream is often served in hollow cones. Icosahedron a polyhedron with 20 faces is called an icosahedron. Like an octahedron, each face of a regular icosahedron is an equilateral triangle.